clap for Jesus. Clap for the King of Kings. Clap for the Lord of Lords. Clap for the El Shaddai. Clap for the Rules of Sharon. The mighty man in battle. The King of Glory. Standing on, so amazed, totally changed by your presence forever, any time. I look into your eyes I see the glimpse of what I always wanted to be Glory Let me be changed Let me be changed your praise. Give me that song. Let's worship the Lord together. I stand in awe. So Changes, transforms. I want to change your presence. I stand it all. Stand it all. So I So So I So I In this place, the glory of the Lord is in this place. Oh, we sing this place. Yes, the glory of the Lord is in this
Lift up your voice and talk to God. I want you to feel His glory already. Oh, Shakara Bala Dala. this glorious convocation thank you for bringing us again today thank you for the glorious precious numerous wondrous things you have in stock for us today as I begin to preach tonight let it be none of me but all of you let everybody under the sound of my voice and everyone watching via social media, people that will listen after now. Some people, somebody came to see me today. He said, I recorded it. And, and the person started playing. Anyone that will hear this message even after now, let the same glory fall. Let the same anointing fall. Let the same healing, same deliverance, same conversion in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke the devourers of your word. Spirit of the living God, move in this place. Make preaching easy. Make preaching powerful. Make preaching walk in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Glory to Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Have your seat. The Lord bless you. Sir, are you clap for Jesus? Amen. What day is today? The fifth day. The number five is the number of grace. Somebody shout grace. grace. Somebody holler grace. grace. Let's thank God for Jesus who paid the price for my salvation and also called me to be a minister. Can you clap for Jesus on my behalf for my salvation, for his call upon my life? Hallelujah. One of the greatest gifts for Africa is a person of our papa, the papa of Africa. <laughs> Amen. Let me say, Papa Africa. And some people think it's a joke, but one of these years, we shall see the African vision coming to pass. <laughs> and, and you will see men that will be at the forefront. Giving directions, giving instruction. One more time, let's clap on for God's servant for the vision of this program. Let's clap on for Mama. Glad to see all the pastors that are here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glad to see God's servant all the way from Enugu. I'm blessed already. I have been reading the book of Ecclesiastes as, as if that portion is not in my Bible. I will go home and read that portion again. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Psalms number three, verse three. 
Psalms number three. Can we read together like a sound of many waters? One to go. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Lord, you are my glory, and the glory lifts up my head. And the glory lifts up my head. Today I want to talk about the glory. Yesterday I started making few introductions. And I'm believing God that at the end of today's message, some of your prayer points will change. Because the glory, if you have his glory, if you dwell in his glory, the glory will handle things in your life. Very soon the church will not be telling stories. Others will be telling what is happening here. Like I said yesterday, I'm sick and tired of talking about yesterday. And there is a, nothing is happening now. When I bring you to my church and you pray and you carry water and spring you where a pastor came, I, I, I don't condemn but I don't like it. There is a realm I want to go to. Pastor came to preach and he was preaching. He said, give me water. He poured one bottle of water. Said, no, no, no. When the glory comes, you don't need water. Do you respect to anyone that is doing it? If you have conviction, it's okay. But when the glory comes, you don't send for water. When the glory enters the house, you don't need a bottle of water. You don't need coconut water. Honestly, you won't need mantle. For the glory of God is a coverage. You can't carry his glory and you are naked. The church of this century have run short of glory. That is why we make up for the glory in church. I like the stage light they have in my church. A pastor called me three days ago. He said, where did you buy that your stage light? I like them. How much is each? It's good. We all have it. When the glory day Another light will appear. Today we make up for smoke on the altar. But then it was not an artificial smoke. God will show up and you will not see a man. You will see smoke. And you know God has entered the house. And the priest will not be able to move. We will not be able to perform. The glory of God has taken every, over everything. And everybody is in the background watching the glory. Oh Lord, take us there again. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. There are realms in glory. There are riches in glory. The realities in glory. And we reign in this world with his glory. That's the realm God is taking us to. It's a dimension in glory. I said that riches in glory. Paul in Philippians 4 verse 19 talked about the riches in glory. The realities in glory. Spiritual and physical. Like in the Papa talked about, you know, material blessing. Material blessing. That people look at you and they want to come to church. Six months in the church. Three months in the choir. Everybody wants to join the choir. I don't know. 99.5% of people that wait in my church are choristers. Who would not want to join choir? choir? Are choristers. Honestly. 99.5%. The 
that you just join the prayer band, things are changing. Everybody wants to be an intercessor. Glory to Jesus. What is God's glory? I have a few scriptures to read before then. Let's look at this. The word glory in Hebrew is kabod. It's kabod. And I tried to trace the root meaning of the word kabod. I discovered them. It's, it, kabod means heavy. The glory of God is heavy, it's weighty. Kabod means rich. So God is rich in glory. That's why Paul talked about riches in glory. God's glory is God's weightiness in wonderful qualities. God's glory is God's weightiness in wonderful qualities such as his goodness. He told Moses, I will hide somewhere. I'm going to hide you somewhere. My glory will pass by. God's weightiness in wonderful qualities such as his goodness, his beauty, mighty, honor. God is super abundant. He has all things in good quality and quantity. So when you come to God, you expect everything in good quality and quantity. I'm laying a foundation. I trust God that we are following. So God has everything, all good things, in good quantity and in good quality. God's glory is self-existing. It does not depend on keyboard. It does not depend on artificial lights. It does not depend on anything or anybody. It's self-existing. The glory of God reflects, speaks of its real essence, its real nature. When we talk about the glory of God, we talk about God himself. Watch this. Everything about God is glorious. Say after me. Everything about God is glorious. Everything about God is glorious. Is glorious. He introduces himself with glory. Everything about God is glorious. Pastor, what is glory? The glory is the totality of God. The totality of God. His real essence is presence. Glory is the totality of God. I like this. I have worked on this myself. I have tried describing, defining, explaining God's glory. What is glory, Pastor? Glory is a distinguished quality of delight desired by all. A distinguished quality of delight desired by all. Everybody wants this glory. In, in fact, unbelievers want the glory. Because of what it carries, because of what it gives, what it provides, what it offers. You see it, you want it, you desire it. The sorcerer saw a display, a demonstration of God's power. He pulled out money, said, Can you sell it? I don't want the source, I want the resources. But what I have seen is something that everybody desires. What is glory? The glory of God is something very attractive, commanding attention. Very attractive, commanding attention when it comes upon you wherever you go. Recently, I needed a facility, a property for school. Two miracles, and I give the testimony, it will help us. So I saw smaller places, I needed this facility, the story building, four flats in one. So I need a property and I, I sent agents and they called me. And this same property, the government had desired, had interest. In fact, I'd even called the owner. You know, I know government might, but when I showed up, 
The man said, they, go, they have come. Give me, give me till tomorrow. Let me make calls. Let me make calls. And the money is in millions. And I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money. The fully money called me. He said, can you come to the house? I told my wife it has happened. And then he mentioned the amount in millions. I came back to the house. I called my junior. I said, the money is this and that. Let's join our hands and tell the Lord to give us that place. For the aid is the Lord. Full stop. I went to the man and said, I just like you. I don't know. I just like you. I don't know. In my city, a few people know, know me, so I must have heard my name. I told him I don't have the money. This is what I have. He said, no. I said, government want this place. I said, but I don't have the money. I, you have this. People of God, he collected half of the amount, gave me the keys, and tell me, take it. Just like that. I don't know when I will recover. When the glory show up, you don't pay for everything. And when people pass and see the school, Papa, when you come, I will show you the place. When people pass and pass, in the heart of the town, main road, that you open the gate, this main road, they will say, ah, is it not everywhere, man? It's not money, the glory paid for it. The glory is something very attractive, commanding attention. I just show up. He said, I love you. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's something about you. When you people hear people say there's something about you, no, it's the glory. 90 of you, you will wear his glory after now. I say, you will wear his glory after now. Say amen like a believer. You know, I've entered a car stand and, and then pick a car and, and drop, was it 400,000? And, and told the person, give me some time. He said, some time. I told him, well, give me a temporary, he gave me the receipt, gave me all the back, gave me everything. I said, eh? I've not paid. He said, go. Not because of my pastor, the other pastors, they won't try. I declare over you that the glory of God will so swallow you Introduce you yeah. from today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Say amen like a believer. Yeah. Pastor, what is the glory? The glory is the manifest, manifold presence of God. It's not short in supply. The manifest, manifold presence of God. Manifest, manifold presence of God. What is the glory? The appearance of God's presence. Acts of the apostle. Chapter 2, verse, chapter 7, verse 2. The appearance of God's presence. Acts of the apostle, chapter 7, verse 2. And he said, Men, brethren, our fathers hearken that God of glory, the God of glory, did what? Appeared unto our father Abraham. God of glory. He appeared in glory to Abraham. Appeared in glory. What is glory? Glory is God showing up in man's affair. Glory is God showing up in your affairs from 1st October. The glory is God showing up in your face this weekend. The glory is God handling matters without you are knowing. What is glory? The glory is divinity swallowing up humanity. Divinity swallowing up humanity. If it's in a place, it swallows the place. Moses was walking. He saw a bush burning. Yet the bush was not burnt. The glory came on the bush. And he said, ah, like I said, the glory is something very attractive, commanding attention. Moses said, I can pass. I will go look. I will go see what is happening to that bush. One of these days, God is going to shine on you. Uh, and, and you will be commanding attention everywhere you go. That is why 14 shops will be in the plaza. But only your shop, people will be lining up to buy. Say amen like a believer. 
Say men like a believer. Say men like a believer. The glory of God. The glory is God manifesting and magnifying himself. God manifesting and magnifying himself. What is glory? It's an awesome presence of God. Something you cannot explain with human terminologies. We are short of words. And God doing something and you just say, wow. So what is glory? Glory is wow. One of these days you leave your house and come back and God will give you a miracle that you, wow. Six of you, first thing Monday morning, God can give you a letter from your office. And when you open the letter, you say, wow. Shop surprising you, and then somebody that left you for a long time came back to the same shop and, and cannot ask questions. It's just wow, God beautifying you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Few things glory does. I'm still trying to take off, and then we hit a few places, and we are done for tonight. What the glory does, number one. The glory announces God's arrival. The glory of God announces his arrival. How do I know God is in the place when the glory shows up? It means God is in that place. The glory of God announces God's arrival. Psalms number 102 verse 16. 102 verse 16. Give me on screen. The glory of God announces God's arrival. When the building, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. How will we know? He shall appear in his glory. First Kings 8 verse 11. Media, let's work together. First Kings 8 verse 11. The glory of God announces God's arrival. So that the priest could not stand to minister. They had been sacrifices and sacrifices. But all of a sudden something happened. The priest could not stand. And we, are, we are trusting God for that day. A day we will come to church, we can't follow the drone program. Not every day, because there's something God wants to alter. I was preaching for Christ for the world mission in this town. The pastor introduced me. Wonderful choir, wonderful church, wonderful presbytery. As I began to preach, the power of God entered the house. I have never seen that in my entire life. I'm longing for it. Nobody, the only two people that could stand in that church was myself and the pastor, and I could not preach. Some people were crying, some were rolling on the floor. There was a serious eruption in the church. Power broke into the church. All choristers on the floor. I don't know what God was up to. The glory of God announces God's arrival. Not with siren. Not with regular microphone announcement. Let's stand and honor the king of kings. Let's put a hand to. No, no, no. He announces himself in his glory. He shows up. Even babies will know God is here. Oh, Lord, take us there. The priest could not perform, the priest could not move. When you go read number 16, 19 to 24. Number two, what the glory does, the first thing is he announces God's arrival. Number two, the glory of God indicates God's approval. Approval as in God's acceptance. Second Kings, Second Chronicles 7, verse 1 and 2. The glory of God indicates God's approval. God's acceptance. Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven. Not artificial fire. 
Nobody set the fire. God said, let me show them I have accepted their sacrifice. I've, I've heard your prayers. We will be praying and, and supernaturally oil will be dropping on people's head. I want to provoke some. I want you to be hunger for a realm. A dimension. A dimension. You locked in your door yourself and you're praying before you finish. You see strange things happening in your house. We should not be reading about this thing. We should begin to experience it. And before Jesus returns, we will see it in the name of Jesus. The fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice and the glory of the Lord filled the house. God was simply saying, I accept your sacrifice. And he accepted in glory. His arrival, his approval. Number three, the glory of God shows God's, sorry, we need the glory of God for our survival. The glory comes for our survival. His arrival, his approval, and our survival. We need his glory to survive. Strange arrows and sicknesses from the pit of hell will be going back to send us. When we are clothed with this glory, the devil will not know our addresses. The book of Haggai, chapter 2, verse 7 to 9. Number 4, the glory of God sanctifies. Makes us clean. Cleans us. Sanctifies. Sanctifies a place. Sanctifies a person. Exodus 29 verse 43. Exodus 29 verse 43. And there I will meet with the children of Israel. And the tabernacle shall be sanctified. By what? Sanctify by my glory. Write Isaiah 2 verse 10. Isaiah 2 verse 10. Number 5. The glory of the Lord is a defense. It's a defense. The scripture says when the enemy shall come like a flood. The spirit of the Lord. Shall raise the standard. Raise the standard. Isaiah 59, verse 19 B. The glory of the Lord brings provision. You cannot carry his glory and you lack what to eat. Can carry his glory and you lack what to eat. Paul was speaking in Philippians 4, verse 19. Say, My God shall supply all my needs. How? According to his riches in glory. By Christ Jesus. When we talk about his glory and walk in his glory, needs are made supernaturally. And I'm trusting God for Festival of Fire 2021. Festival of Glory, rather. That you shall receive gifts that you have not paid for. Yeah. It shall no longer be your salary alone. Yeah. Who is the owner of that prophetic word? Who is the owner here? Receive in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I say receive in the name of Jesus. Yeah. One day in my church, 
first day I think it was in March. Police van drove into the job. I said, what is happening? And some policemen came in your uniform. Say, we are looking for the pastor of this church. And you know police now, there were people lined up to see me, but you know police, they just, what, we are looking for the pastor of this church. So I said, I said, okay. Any problem? Papa, they said to me, today is first, we were looking for a way to sow seed. Police. They brought and brought and I said, ah, police. I say in righteousness, police. We are looking for a way to sow seed. Hey, oh boy, open that boat. Bring that thing. Bring, bring, bring. And they brought. Drop, 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 drop. So all of you kneel down. Kneel down. I'm speaking what I have experienced. A member of one of the biggest, biggest churches in town, in Nigeria. The branch, the headquarters in Uyo. Another first day of the month. Brought money in a bag. I don't know either it was tight of the area for many years. And gave to my protocol and drove off. So I just finished preaching. I came to the office. The guy brought it back. I said, what's the meaning of this? Who brought it? I don't know. My friend, be very careful before you collect stolen money. Describe the person. It's a woman. There's a realm you will soon enter and people will not predict you. I saw the money. Good bundles. It was not long. I saw a strange number. Pastor, I could not wait. I am late to drop it with you. <laughs> Who are you? She now described herself with somebody I knew. Some years ago, I've been, I used to pray for them. Drag it to the church. Oh, Jesus. The glory of God provides. It will not be your salary. Your salary will come. Angels will also be bringing. Helpers will also be bringing. Somebody will say, I could not sleep last night. The glory of God will show up in your life. You go to a place. And four of you, you see the glory of God identifying you. Something hovering over you. Commanding attention. All eyes are on you. All eyes are on you. All eyes on you. And somebody call you. Call you. Kings will look for you. Yes, yes they will look for you. Yes. You go to a place, you have thousands, and you identify you are single out. You are single out. Oh, Jesus. Who's the owner of that prophecy? Then police begin to bring money. Police. Honestly, I thought there was some problem in the church. They came straight to see pastor. Only for them to say, I was looking for. God said, you won't pass it. You need money, they go in. Why some guys are looking for means to do ministry? And then the glory is supplying our needs. If you straight foot your hand to this global altar, your needs shall be made supernaturally. Can I speak like a prophet? You will marry and you will not spend a dime. Yeah. You will live in a house you have never bought one bag of cement. Yeah. Amen. A young man was walking with a white guy in this town. And the guy was wicked. Wicked. And something happened. They called him to come back to their country. There was no time for him to sell anything. He just looked in anger and told the young man, I have to leave. I fell able to fly to Lagos and then I'm not sure I will come back. He looked at the car, looked at everything and told the guy, you can use them. Yes, Papa. So you can use them. Eh? So use them. Eh? Use them. Come on, take me to the airport. Use them. 
the following week, we saw somebody driving. L, is it a joke or something? Are you into one ritual stuff? Because even believers think that way. That is only ritualists that will make it. No, the glory can, can make you. The glory can also make you. The guy was driving compact days of that time. Things changed in his house. Till today, the white guy had never come back. The glory provided. I believe something told him, like people will say, the lay people will say something. Something told him. Leave it with this young man. You don't need to waste time. Just give him, give him, give him. God told Moses, tell the Israelites to, to enter cities, nations, neighborhood, and borrow. And check the kind of things they borrow. Silver, gold. <laughs> go and borrow, go and borrow. And I'll say, ask, please, do you have any gold in this house? Uh, yes. Three. Ah, Ethan, bring the other one in, uh, under my bed. Bring, bring two. And mommy, there is another one. Bring, bring. The time is coming that we will show up in the place. And you will drag your blessing home. Yeah. I say you will drag your blessing home. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The glory of God is going to work wonders in your life. Yeah. That is why I want us to pray for this glory. I want us to pray for this glory. The glory of God comes for your rising. The glory of God comes for your rising. The portion we read Psalms 3. Verse 3, God, David said, you are the glory, you are my shield. But thou, O Lord, art the shield for me. You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. You cannot carry his glory and you don't rise. You cannot carry his glory and you don't rise. You cannot. The glory of God is a lifter of men. When God puts up his glory in your life, your lifting has come. Amen. Give me Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise! Somebody say, I will arise. Can we do something prophetic? Arise! No, no, no. Say, I arise. Arise! Shine! For the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen. Up. Sit down. We will do it three more times. If you don't believe in the prophetic, you can sit down. I do funny thing. Some years ago, I went to church. Said, Attention! One guy was sitting somewhere was very angry. What is pastor doing in church? And reluctantly got up and did it. The following day, he came to see him. I said, there is no counseling. What is it? So I came to confess. I came to give testimony. I said two things at the time. So he said, when you said attention, I was very angry. I said, must we do everything in church? Are we children? I was complaining. But reluctantly so that you would not be angry. Where I sat, that I was the only person sitting down. I got up and was doing the thing just like that. So I had strange pains in my leg for a very long time. I've been taking medication just disappeared and I cannot keep quiet I came to share arise shine from today I command darkness to disappear in your life I'm not a teacher like Papa who will teach precept upon precept in, you know, into the nitty gritty. I preach. I'm a prophet. Amen. Amen. It's not bringing me because I preach. You oh, can preach a day. Eh? I'm a prophet. I'm a preacher. I declare over your life. Darkness shall no longer comprehend issues in your life. For light shining in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend. Every darkness in your place of abode disappears. Every
every darkness in your office disappears. Every darkness in your matrimonial home disappears. Every darkness in the skin of your face disappears. From today, arise. Everything that kept you on the ground is losing its grip over you now. Arise. Break the shackles. Break the chain. Lose yourself. Come on down for prison. Come out of dungeon. Come out of the captivity. You can no longer be on the floor. Somebody take off. Somebody get up. Arise. Arise. Shine. Your light has come. Your light is here. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I said the glory is risen upon you. Shout yes. Shout yes. Everything that constituted darkness in your life. Now that the glory of God is showing up. Darkness is disappearing. Oh my God. I see darkness fading. Darkness is fading. Your beauty is showing. I said darkness is fading. Your beauty is showing. Darkness is fading. Your calling is showing. Darkness is fading. Your ministry is showing. Darkness is fading. Your office is showing. Herabala Kwashada. Heraboshala. Darkness is fading. Your face is showing. The Lord is saying to me, darkness is fading. Your glory is showing. You receive the kind of treatment you have never received in your life. Turn to your neighbor, say better treatment. Turn to your neighbor, say better treatment. I said again, you receive the kind of treatment you have never received before. Yes! I attended a conference in Accra that it was Mills Conference. So he gave us a place to stay. General of Asias. And I had my luggage. Papa, a pastor, a general of Asias, too, carrying my luggage on his own. I thought it was a joke. A joke. I went to him. He said, no, no, man of God. And we descended in the staircase. And we had the fourth floor. I said, no. You know, you have yours. I you have mine. He said to me, I don't know him from Zimbabwe. He said, you don't know what you carry. There is something I see all over you. Allow me to carry this. I said, I said what is this? He said, there is something over you. The glory will over around your head. And people will be coming to you. Good things will be coming to you. If you hear my voice, shout at me like a thunder. If you hear my voice, rumor like a thunder. Somebody shout glory. Enter your village, shout glory. Hey, hey, hey. Enter your neighborhood, shout glory. that dispense glory have entered this house serious 
Sekure Telarus Manuske Kutele Hosa Sakupa la Kusala Hiana Mashatala Kus Say a Tolaro Shada Angels in glory form Glory form Hey Okusapura Dabasata Kerio Baba Shanda Hila Kada No more shame No more storytelling Enter your glory season Enter your glory season Enter your glorious season Enter your glorious season Say yes Say yes Say yes Say yes You will reap it You will harvest dividends of glory Dividends of glory the different will be clear your life when you lost the glory the cabot and now that you have cabot the difference will be clear i said the difference will be clear in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody's going to call you tomorrow because of the glory the glory announces God's arrival. The glory of God will soon arrive, announce that God is partnering with you. That divinity is partnering with you. Hey! Hey! From today, you will be welcoming the Holy Trinity. Isaiah said, The glory of God filled the house, and the post of the temple was move. Move. The glory of God is a mover. The glory entered the house, entered the temple, and the post of the temple, the pillar, was moved was shifting shifting repositioning repositioning when the glory comes there's some sort of repositioning who, who lied to you that you were meant to be at the back when the glory shows up in you you will be brought to the front Honor of that prophecy shall they men like a believer. The glory of the Lord brings people from the back to the front. Very soon you will wonder how you made it to the front. How, how did I make it to this place? How, how, how? I'm a testimony. The glory and make me shook hands with people. Shook hands with people. Enter places that people are not allowed to enter. Some people enter the outer and they come out and brock. Me, I, I enter. I enter. And say, come into the room. Come in. Sit down here. I, I, I enter just like that. I enter. Sit down here. Sit down. And, and, and Oh God. The glory of God is going to bring you from the far back to the very front to the very front straight for your hand to this altar I don't joke with this altar you see this altar this altar <laughs> I don't know in, in our church we don't joke with altar you you a lady came and said since I finished school I have not used my credentials said pack them drop them on the altar go home after some days speak it he picked it on Saturday. Monday, she was called for interview. And how much? The altar is two years by October. And this one is how many years? Straight for your hand. Straight for your hand. The glory of God is coming upon somebody here. And Papa, I'm hearing something. And you will soon make the list. Listen, I know when I'm speaking English, 
These are not bitter words. I hear in the spirits. The glory of God will show up in your life. You will soon make the list. Spread for your hands. Think, think of any kind of lists. Think of open check blank. Think of any kind of lists. List of latest couple. Think list of latest car owners. Lists, list, list of latest entrepreneurs. List, list. List of latest appointees. Think of any list. Think of any list. Kuraba Shata Lakata. Think of it. Are you thinking? Think praying. If I be a man of God, you won't forget my voice. You won't forget my, my voice. You won't forget this message. The glory of God is not a joke. It's not a joke. Oh. Think of any list. Say I see your name in the list. Make the list. You will make the list. In the name of Jesus. While you are standing, I want us to pray. Let me mention the last one and then we pray. While you are standing. The glory of God brings transformation. Spiritual and physical transformation. Changes can change your skin. Can change your job. It's a transition from one level to another. Some sort of spiritual metamorphosis. You change, you keep changing. I activate this supernatural transformation in somebody's life. Yeah. I said transformation is activated in your life from today. Yeah. From today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Somebody say, Lord, Lord. Transform, my life. transform my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray the prayer wherever you are. When the Lord shall build Zion, He shall build in glory. He shall build with splendor. He shall build with beauty. Change me. Change. Lord, transform my life. Physical transformation, spiritual transformation. Talk to God wherever you are. Change me. Let me be changed. Let me be changed. Change my marriage. Change my marriage. Change my results. If you don't like your result, pray now. Change your approach, the response I get from my business approach. Change. Let me be changed. Change. Fera baba la do shata. Korea baba bala dash. Ila ko bala do shata. Serio baba bala dash. Hey. Kabala baba basha namus. Somebody talk to God. We are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. I see a glimpse of the world I always wanted to be. 
Let me be changed, Lord. Let me be Jesus receive transformation my glory wherever the spirit of cloud by fire stopped the children of Israel stopped they will stay there which means the glory of God leads direct open way a young lady of Moab, from Moab by name Ruth was led by the glory of God to a destined place. Watch this. Let your glory take me to my destined place. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. I have been in places that I wonder I got there. Watch this. Watch this. I'm not done. Because I have a prophecy for somebody. Ruth went to the field of Boaz. She stole in just a big remnant fragment left over. She was even hiding. And somehow she lifted up her face. And Boaz said, Who is that? Who is that lady? That was the beginning. The same place. She stole in to pick leftover. Became her own. Very soon, that office you oppress, you will see that the hem of her face. Very soon, that family that you are despised, you will be a helper of destiny to your siblings. Boaz gave instruction and said, anytime you see Ruth enter here, please deliberately leave things, some stuff for her. He said, give her a good portion. And he said, uh, if you need water, that's the place. Gradually by glory, the Lord delivered the field of Boaz. She became a co-owner of the field of Boaz. Straight forward to this making order. If I sit in New York and watch this program and, and, and write down declaration, you are here. If you me, I came to preach alone. This declaration is working for people here. I've seen your faces. I declare over you that place will soon be yours. Jesus stretch for your hand I declare in the name of Jesus somebody will soon leave something for you government will soon leave something for you There are people that lobby to see people, to see who is who. 
There are people that have entered and they are even recommending people. They have left levels. And anyone who said, write this name. I declare from a realm that somebody will soon leave something for you. That prophecy is not for sale. It's free. I'm not saying bring 10,000 and take it. I declare again whatever you desire and beyond your imagination somebody will soon leave something for you. A church will soon leave something for you. A company will soon leave something for you. A group of people will soon leave something for you. Any prophecy is possible in a glorious atmosphere. Glorious atmosphere. Papa will preach on the other day. But I declare in the name of Jesus, under this atmosphere, somebody will leave something for you. to see us but when the glory appeared people came to root to see us Kabosha she was now the madame of the house a strange woman from a Moabite country became in church of Ruth's house, of Boaz's house. And yet virgins and other maidens in the land did not know this, the secret. When the Lord shall appear in Zion, He shall appear in glory. He shall come with smoke. He shall come with fire. Wherever you are in this house, shall fire. Hey, shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. In the name of Jesus. Three prayers I'm done. The last one I want to pray for the sick. Jesus took three guys to a mount. And all of a sudden, he was transfigured. And there were appearances of Moses and Elijah. Peter said, we cannot leave this place. I don't want you to be a visitor in the glory house. I want you to dwell in the house. Lord, help me to be conscious of your glory. Lord, to be carrier of your glory. And let me enjoy glory coverage. Three in one prayer. Can you pray that prayer, everybody? Help me to be conscious of your glory. Moses said, If your glory will not go with us, let us end this journey here. Conscious of your glory. Move to the next one. Let me be carrier of your glory. Carrier of your glory.
Somebody pray that prayer. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say that they may like a sound of many waters. Oh that I way as in months past. As in the days when God watched over me. When his lamp shone upon my head. And when his light I walked through darkness. Just as I was in the days of my prime, when the friendly counsel of God was over my tent, when the Almighty was yet with me, when my children were around me, when my steps were bathed with cream and the rock poured out rivers of oil for me, when I went out to the gate of this by the city, when I took my seat in the open square, the young men saw me and hid. The, the age arose and stood. Princess refrained from talking and put their, head, their hand in their mouth. The voice of the nobles were hush and their tongue struck to the, the roof of their mouth. When the ear heard, then it blessed me. And when the eye saw, then it approved me because I delivered the poor who, who, who cried out, the fatherless and the one who had, who had no helper. The blessing of the perishing men came upon me and I cast the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness and he clothed me. My justice was like a rope and a turban. I was eyes to the blind and I was feet to the lame. I was father to the poor. I was and I searched out this and sees that I did not know. I broke the fangs of wicked of the wicked and plowed the victim from the teeth. Then I said, I shall die in my net and multiply my days as a sound, as a sound. My root is spread out to the waters, and the dew lies all night on my branch. My glory, my glory. Second to the last prayer is fresh glory. Baptize. All that I read happened because of fresh glory. Fresh, baptize me with fresh glory. My glory was fresh in me. And my bow was renewed in my hand. Straight for your hand to this altar. Say, Lord. Lord. Renew my glory. Renew. Open your mouth and cry to the Lord. This prayer will, will shock you. The, the, the answer to this prayer will change your entire life. You will become eyes to the blind. You will become leg to the lame. Talk to God wherever you are. Let my glory be fresh. Be fresh. David says, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Fresh glory. Fresh honor, fresh beauty, fresh strength, renew strength from glory to glory, from strength to strength. Somebody pray this prayer. No more shame. Today your reproach is rolled away. No more reproach. Somebody pray. When your glory is fresh, no more struggle. You appear unassuming and you are doing great things. The blessing of the Lord is upon your head. You are prayed with wise counsel from the Holy Ghost.
your hand is renewed your bow is renewed in Jesus mighty name we pray if you are sick in the body Papa said God touch cancer touch cancer Our members are here. Credible things. And I said, the Lord is also calling me to flow in that dimension. The sick will be healed. In the glorious atmosphere, no laying of hands. No laying of hands. They say by conviction or somebody's laid. Anything can happen under this atmosphere. If you are watching via television, social media, straight for your hands. Every illegal occupant in your body. Every sickness residing in any part of your body. Every demonic satanic arrow of sickness fired into your body. Every chronic disease. Every infection and virus. Every growth and tender migraine pains of any kind strange movement in any part of your body appearances of rashes skibbies sickness that comes with the moon attacks on ovulation periods Something's happening here. Little no shatter the bush. Feel no more shatter like cattle ladder. Prostrates, ovarian cysts, barrenness of any kind, miscarriages, arthritis, rheumatism, glaucoma, cataract, asthma. I command fiber to shrink. I command fiber to melt. Speech impediments. Whatever you are, disappear. For by his strength we are here. At the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Be here. Be here. Be here. You will not need the next doctor's appointments. Because you are visited in his own now. Your pharmacist will miss your patronage. You are healing your body. For in his body, he took our infirmities. Be healed. Be healed. I kneel on this altar. I cancel that surgery. I cancel your surgery. I cancel your surgery. Every sickness in your body, every growth waiting for surgery in the name of Joshua and Messiah, that surgery is canceled. That surgery is canceled. That surgery is canceled. I command all blood fallopian tubes flush, flush. Anointing of the Holy Ghost is visiting your ovaries. Harvest of baby in Potter's house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. La Kosha Bela Roshata Lada. Yoroba Baba 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 Shata. Rikala Baba Shanda. 
Makura baba shana daba. Lakula se kwa se kwa sete. Rita bosha tamada. There's a sister here. We have blood discharge. Blood discharge. Irregular blood discharge. It's not your only flow. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord say to me, from man with a cease. After this prayer, go check yourself. There's a lady here. Are you the one? I don't want need to bring you out. It has ceased. Go check yourself. It has ceased. I hear the Lord say. Go check yourself. Immediately don't come out. Yes. It has ceased in the name of Jesus. It has ceased in the name of Jesus. Before I drop the microphone, receive appointment letters. Every demonic embargo that has stopped you from singing a new song. That embargo is lifted. He's lifted. He's lifted. In the name of Jesus, you are to, you are the first in your family to have it. First to build a house. First, first. Oh God, God is making face. There's grace for face here. Grace for face. First. First wedding, first marriage, first promotion, first person to travel out, first person, first person. Everyone that had that problem died or was sick. You are the first. You will survive in the name of Jesus. You will survive in the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Somebody say I believe. Somebody say receive.